You are. At last. I had hoped you'd come sooner. The curse is strong. That you are here at all is a godsend. The creature that has stalked the minds of our savants. Yuala, Kadok, and Ethan. She is here. She has come for me at last. She is the one that has stalked the minds of our greatest mages. But there is a more troubling history than that. Once I have been freed, there will be plenty of time to discuss her true nature. The possession she used on the savants you encountered, I tried to fend her off. Though I stand before you, the sorceress has begun usurping other parts of my mind. I retained a part of myself and made the glyph that took you here. When we met in Talarain, I knew then that Savant Inga was right about you. Maybe too right. It is more than chance, Adept, that has brought you into contact with this sorceress before. And it's more than luck, I think, that you survived each encounter. You will be disappointed. She is present in her spellcraft, not in the flesh, thankfully. I have some safeguards against this form of assault. But though I've retained enough control here, this sorceress is assuming control over my baser emotions. And if I fall to her, chaos will reign. Here is the truth of our foe. It is the only help I can give. I must rely on you to expel her. As the Arch Sage, I've trained myself to withstand attacks to my mind. Her previous attempts were weak, not as immediate as this. She does not target my conscious self now. She instead moves to conquer my repressed flaws, my misguided thoughts, and she will exploit them in time. I have been following what has happened to the savants that conducted your initiation. Those poor souls. If this dark sorceress is done with them, she must have learned all she could. She must be near her goal. There is more to our history than books and scrolls, but we must solve matters here first. Then I will answer all you ask. If you wish to return to my chambers in Rathir, I will accommodate you. But do not wait too long to return. I need your help to defeat this curse. Good. If we are swift, we should be able to break this curse before my mind is completely hers. Sorceress has taken over some parts of my mind. They will be strong, magnified aspects of myself. Be wary.
Persistent, aren't you? From ruins to mountaintops? Even in the mind of your pathetic arch-sage? Who, despite you standing here, has given up hope. In fact, right now he is trying to tell you it is useless to fight Ciara Sedanus. <laughs> In all the mines I have seen, there have been none that carried such indifference as this Arch Sage. Does he care about the wars that wage across his land? No. Does he care for the lives of his subordinates? Not in the slightest. He long ago surrendered to the inevitability of my return. Yes. I am the Tyrant Queen of the Dark Empyrean. 
The fools of the Scolia Arcana believe I was killed. But the Arch Sage knows the truth. It is, perhaps, why he has surrendered all hope. He knows I cannot be defeated, only delayed. You understand so, so little. All that will die is this Arch Sage's indifference. He might actually care about you as more than a pawn, then. Do you doubt me, child? Do you doubt the totality of his apathy? Behold the demons that plague this man's mind. And so my attempts to foster his indifference seem to have met their end. It does not matter. I have accomplished all I would have liked to. My freedom is guaranteed. So I can focus my attentions on you. You are my closest friend, after all. You served your purpose well. This body is the incarnation of the Arch Sage's goals and ideals. For all his aspirations, the man is a slave to his discipline. It is a pity. Had I the time to foster some of these ambitions, he would make a useful pawn, just like you.
Do you not understand, child? It was your initiation that freed me. The magic of the spell could not find your potential. And so it shows the greatest power this world has ever known. All you will do is strike down this man's twisted ambition. The world might thank you, in time. After all, you see all the parts of himself this arch-sage ignored to reach this point. Let us see if they were worthy sacrifices. You will know my journey! <laughs>
done it out. I no longer feel the prying of Sardanus on my mind. You have freed me of her. Thank you, Adept. By freeing me of her influence, I can distill for you those thoughts you have liberated. From my ambition, I can impart to you an indomitable resolve. From my indifference, I can craft a fearless impartiality. The choice is yours. I am the Arch Sage, but I am also a human. There were certain flaws of character that I had repressed. Sardanus intensified those flaws until they threatened to overcome me. By destroying them, you freed me of these flaws. I can give you the knowledge of this freedom. For my indifference. I can impart to you a sense of fearlessness. Through ambition, you can gain a will to strive for perfection. In many ways, they seem similar, but to you, the effects are disparate. Indeed, you have shown enough of it on your own for one lifetime. But we will need all we can muster to face the coming storm. Now, are we able to depart? We have much to do in order to begin. Make case, then. We must deal with her before she claims another. Are you prepared to leave? I am eager to resume control of my mind and end our enemy's reign. Good. When we return, speak with me. The sorceress will not be suffered any longer. What may I help you with today? Ah, Adept Fell. She is one of my favorites. The woman has a way of rubbing people the wrong way, but there is no better investigator among our rank and file. Saving her life was good form. I owe you one. Quite a stranger, Kadok Reen. Never really got to know too much about him, beyond the fact that he was gifted in the arts of sagecrafting. You can find me here. I wouldn't keep the Arch Sage waiting, Adept. Greetings.
I am sure you have questions, and I shall do my best to answer them. First, let me say this. No adept in the history of the Scolia Arcana has earned the Savant's ring more than you. Take it with my gratitude. Now prepare yourself. The time for suffering the predations of our enemy is at an end. It is our turn to strike. Savant Ingar was a dear friend and one of the Scolia Kana's most powerful assets. His loss will be felt by all within the Order. Dark times are upon us, Savant. The tragedies recently befallen our most powerful members speaks to a greater conspiracy at work. I should have acted sooner. I should have seen what was coming. I promise you this. I will do what is necessary to keep the order from being destroyed, whatever the cost. There is little else we can do but summon her. It might seem foolish, but if we do not try here, we will surely fail later. It is time for you to learn the truth of our order. The truth of Sierra Sardanus and the fall of the Dark Empyrean. Sierra Sardanus was never killed, Savant. She was imprisoned within the very stones of Rithia. Because of you, she has awakened. And though trapped, she has proven formidable. Now to destroy her, we must release her. The truth of the Scolia Arcana's founding, its true purpose, is a secret that has been passed down from Archsage to Archsage. We have many savants within our order. Those supremely gifted in the arts of alchemy or sagecrafting or scholarship. But there is a reason that Archsages are chosen according to their mastery of war magic. Because one day, Sardanus will return, and one must be prepared to face her. When Ethan Engar cast the ritual for your initiation trial, he created a magic whose purpose was to conjure that which could challenge your potential. None could have anticipated that to do so. The magic of the ritual would actually find Sardanus buried deep within her prison. The smallest part of her consciousness was summoned into your trial. Once awakened, she began using the minds of those involved to craft her escape. Do not take too long. We must strike quickly if we are to defeat Sardanus. Good luck.